we're live while we're recording we're recording <laughs> we are alive and recording yeah well, well, first first recording of january 2024 we're doing Kilhoman. uh this is a single cask in px it's a six-year-old Kilhoman, a little bit on the young side um although most Kilhomans are young and this is an NWO New Whiskey Order. It's a it's a group uh, on Facebook, led by uh, Russell, who um, he this comes out of. So it's a it's a cask that was split three ways with uh, two Arizona groups, and it had a cool. Maybe I'll show the the picture. It had a cool uh, label on it with some Kill Bill references, right? So is the whiskey Kill order American? Kill Holman. Sorry? Is the whiskey order American? Uh, no, new whiskey orders out of Alberta. Um, but they split this cask somehow with two groups that are American. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I, I've done many tastings with new whiskey order. I am a member and a fan. I get a lot of, um, well, obviously, uh, Pete off the start, but of like... Uh... A very seasoned um, piece of meat, like a beef. Uh, you know, like when you are uh, you're not marinating, but you're you're uh, you're seasoning a steak or something to put on the barbecue, and you you know kind of leave it in a bag for an hour or something. And you, that initial smell you get when you open it up kind of has that. I mean, I guess that's a mixture of all the spices you put on it, but you get that meat, you know, raw meat. Yeah, I get a lot of barbecue notes. I'm with you there, Kyle. And just to I get add a lot of me, uh, uh, like coniferous notes. Ooh, coniferous. It's, it's very, it's very, very woody and tree. Like, like being outside in the woods, almost like pine. Tree. There's some interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah. The, it's really complex. Eh? Like you get those barbecue notes, you get those foresty coniferous notes. It's salty. Yeah, salted steak all day. I I would not have pinned this for a kill home, I guess. No. Or something that young. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's really interesting. So far, good pick. Whiskey order. New whiskey order. Yeah, there's uh yeah, there's only sixty of these bottles that made their way to Canada. Oh, nice. So we're reviewing something that's going to be useless to the average consumer. <laughs> Maybe. Nothing like those ones that you will, will review that you can never try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might be able to get your hands on a sample. I was, uh, yeah, there's... I was throwing my two cents in. I'm like, why aren't these guys listening to me? And uh, I was muted. But um, I was going to say, Kyle, you're talking about the barbecue notes and you were talking about like aging steak or whatever and it made me think about kind of like a there's like a beef jerky smell in there oh uh, yeah. it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like lightly there's like a light smoky to it as well i like the coniferous though yeah like I, or maybe maybe those like barbecue it. things are just getting to me and i'm just thinking barbecue smoke char like i don't know like the oh, is good, like you know, kind of smells like like piney, like uh, like you're kind of you know, you're going through a pine forest and just taking a big breath, a deep breath in, and you know, and then someone's barbecuing ribs in there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and someone's throwing salt at you, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is this is uh, there's still a lot going on here. It's really really nice, really well put together. On the nose, anyways. We'll see if it follows through. <laughs> Cheers. Anything else, Cheers. gentlemen? Cheers. Cheers. That's way too easy to drink for 60%. Tell you that. Um, I feel the heat only at the end. Only on the yeah. finish, I feel the heat. It's kind of... Um, oh, there's, a, there's a lot going on the mouth feel um it, i feel like it's pretty warm it's kind of mellow and smooth and like sweet across the palate but then little tingly little heat and then gets really warm at the end 
so yeah, many a lot. flavors. It's um, dynamic, eh, Trevor? Like, uh, I don't get much coniferous notes. No, even that's all gone. Even notes. I, I get, get, I get more of a... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm with Kyle, a little, like little medicinal. I get like a little mildewy. <laughs> yeah, I get a smoked jam. I get uh, salty. It's pretty salty still. Salty for sure. Yeah, I'm getting more like a seaweed now. Yeah, I was going to say kind of something that got a lot, a lot of leafy green, like a, maybe like a kale or a spinach, but like something yeah, that's, this that's is, this different. Is, oh, you're getting Noah's was taking me to a forest. And now I'm like at a seaside. <laughs> You're in BC. <laughs> there's like, there's like some, there's like a little hint of like raunchy puddle, you know, like that, like sea spray that like. Oh yeah. Oh, cesspool. Yeah. Yeah. I guess cesspool. Yeah. That's. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way. It's very delicious. <laughs> And um, <laughs> I'm more on the smoky, salty jam, but yeah, yeah, I, I, it's hard to disagree with that. I'm, I'm just looking for other things, so I'm just not like repeating what you're saying. I'm ignoring what you've said, trying to dig other things out because I, I do agree with you quite a lot. You know, I can now that I'm. It does. Get, it gets easier to drink. In, I, I can kind of get the the coniferous notes. They're coming back now. Um, as as I'm getting through, uh, you know, halfway through my drink. This the thing here is like at sixty and a quarter percent should not be this should not be this easy to drink at that percentage. Yeah. Like there's not even like usually anything we drink over sixty percent. There's like at least some moment where you're like oh like you get hit, you know, or like oh it's hard to swallow, whatever it is. Right, this is like doesn't have have any of that yeah <clears throat> the uh the finish is also like a little bitter like briny kind of um i don't know i got like a bit of like a like a, like a yeah like like just just that's kind of a sour uh finish um kind of almost like dry finish really like if, it were, if you were to have like a a white wine and like that that finish you get on like a white wine Mm. I like that. That's good. Yeah, whenever I have single barrels like this, I always want something either especially delicious or unique that like throws a twist at you. And this is really that that little twist. So I, I really appreciate this being bottled as a single barrel. This this not cast strength, right? Yeah, yeah. This should be cast strength, yeah. That, that, oh. Yeah, this should be what it came out of the cast cat. Makes sense for sixty percent, yeah. Yeah, I don't have too much more to add. I think we've dissected it. I don't know. Anyone else got anything? I'm good. No, no, I'm good. Who uh who's pick? Uh, that's a Simon's pick. Who we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah all I, mean, I know I got the bottle, but I don't know if I was the one that that admitted it into the round. But oh, I I'm happy to start. Um, yeah, I like I like I just said. You know, I, I really appreciate this getting bottled as a single barrel. Um, it's got really unique notes that I'm not used to seeing in a Kilhoman within PX. On top of that, um, so I think it's it's uh it's a really well well picked um kudos to nwo uh you know tastiness wise it's not the tastiest kill i've ever had but kill honestly can't do no wrong and this is still delicious so i'm going 89 yeah go, oh, go ahead no no you go you go you go um yeah no i'm gonna go 88 uh pretty much uh you, i would say the exact same thing um I'm not surprised. It's so good. You know, I, I have never been disappointed. Other than that PX cask for Killerman, never really been disappointed. But uh, yeah, can't really have any complaints. You pretty well said it all. So I, I'm gonna just leave it at an 88. I am going to be lowballing this at 87. Um, I think I think it it is great. 
uh, don't get me wrong, but I, I I don't know if it deserves as high as you guys have got it. Um, for 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 six years, it's got a lot, lot to offer though. Um, it's uh, you know, got a little bit too much heat on it for me. I I I'm pretty aware that I'm drinking something that's pretty high ABV. I think we've had a few others lately that uh, have been a little bit more well disguised in terms of their high ABV. Um, but yeah, it. it it's it's got a lot of complexity to it. There's lots to enjoy, um, lots to keep coming back to, and probably a little bit that we haven't really got to in it so far. So, eighty-seven for me, and I think that's you know I, I said low ball, but I think that's still a really good score. Yeah, you're killing the averages here, um, Scott. But I, uh, Simon, I was thinking eighty-nine as well. Um, uh, like. Like I said, it comes together fairly nicely and pretty easily drinkable for something 60% plus uh, ABV. Um, it's kind of weird how I'm getting like earlier on, I got a lot of the sort of meat uh, uh, kind of nose that we're talking about. Now it's like salty, brimy. It's kind of going back and forth, doing a bunch of different things. But to me, it's pretty enjoyable and and uh, comes together quite well and there's a lot of different flavors in there and I think you could probably get a little bit of something new every time yeah. you have you have this one um, and I the smoke is nice I get I get like a nice amount of kind of smokiness on the finish so I think it's a good one cheers we'll cut it off there this would be one that I would say like you know and I don't ordinarily um like with my meals, I generally just have like water. But like, if you wanted to uh, kind of pair, like, if you had like a nice steak din dinner, this is a drink. This type of drink, not saying this one in particular, but these, these this type of a drink would be, I think, go well with a nice, you know, medium rare steak. You know, yeah. this would be uh this would be a special one to have at a tasting. Uh... Hey, Simon. Yeah, meat, meat, uh, meat and scotch tasting. Yeah. Okay, I'll cut yeah, it off but... now. <laughs> 